And we, we got to start with Jalen Brunson at number 11, man. You've been through this organization. You've seen him as a kid all the way up as a man. Just talk about the, the last two years and, and the growth and development that you've seen from Jalen Brunson. Man, I, you know, I'm from originally from Dallas, Texas. And uh, not, not a big, huge uh, Mavericks fan, but I thought, you know, Mavericks has a pretty good organization. And I can't understand for the life of me why they let the young man go. I mean, I just like, wow, that's, that was not just a great move. But we, it was great for us, luck, great to have him. And like you, like you mentioned, I've seen Jalen from when he was a youngster running around with his father in the locker room to now, to even the, the, the two championships he won at Villanova. So mad respect, always loved him. And for him to be doing what he's doing now in this city, in the world's most famous arena, you know, I just, I, I give him all the respect, man, and love, and uh, just hope he just continue this. Uh, he's a born leader. You know, he was named captain not too long ago. I thought that was just a great move and the right move for the Knicks to make sure that it, it's just put out there that, you know, Jalen, you, you, you're our captain. We need you to do, uh, to, to lead this team. And, and he was born to do it, so I think he's got. He did it at he did it at every level. So of course, um, uh, Nova, he got his boys with him now, so he's comfortable. And uh, I, like you said, I just can't wait for the season to start. You, you mentioned him doing it in this town, and you played through this town. You played with Patrick Ewing. You you know what that feels like from a pressure standpoint. I always said that when he got here in the first year, when he was very impressive, I almost felt like his poise was almost as impressive mm -hmm. as his skill on the court. Has to be. Has to be again. I, 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 that's why I say um, um, it was the right move to make him the captain because you're going to feed you, you're going to you're, you know your team is going to go as only as far as your captain and your leader and his poise. It, him being as as level headed as he are is going to have the whole locker room level headed. Everybody, if you just take this guy's key and, and just look at him for direction, then you know I hold the whole year should be just as level like last year. Um, we would have did way much better, as everybody know, and Knicks, Knicks uh, fans know. We hit, got hit with the, with the injury uh, bug, but that's that's a part of sports. That's going to happen. So, but if we have a leader that can keep us on pace and keep everybody at level key, and and, and no, and don't forget the goal. The goal is to win a championship. Yeah. Goal is not to play well. You know, the goal is to win a championship, and uh, they, and we on our way with Jalen at the head. With a leadership like his, does it remind you of any point guards that you played with in the past? Well, all my point guards, so, you know, I, I I get the question all the time, who was your favorite teammate, favorite teammate? That's a hard question because I loved I only played for two uh, right. NBA teams. Yeah. But I loved all my teammates. I never had a bad teammate. and uh, But I always would say when they ask me my favorite teammate, I'm always going to name a point guard because that's who's responsible for getting you the ball. Yeah. And Muggsy come to mind. You know, uh, when I was here, we had uh, Charlie Wood. You mentioned Charlie earlier, and we had Chris Child, mm -hmm. who was leaders too. But Patrick was just like our, our, our cornerstone. So Patrick was the leader and the captain of our team. And 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 uh, like I said, our two point guards did exactly what they were supposed to do. But when I was at Charlotte, uh, it was Muggsy in the locker room, Muggsy on the floor, Muggsy in command of the uh, the whole game. So that reminds me of like Jalen. The on-court skill set, what's been the most impressive for you when it comes to Brunson? That little left hand. I mean, left hand is always awkward. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, left hand always awkward. But yeah. the way he gets to the basket and how he's crafty around the basket. I mean, plenty, plenty of times, you know, I, uh, myself, John Starks, uh, the Knicks did a great job of bringing the uh, veterans back or, and you bringing retired players back. And sitting on the front row, to see him maneuver but with, with six, eight, six, nine, seven footers and get that shot off around the basket, it is impressive. It is impressive because you can see him there and he's doing all these little great footwork down there, yeah, great yeah. footwork down there. And, and, and just the little angle, I'm like, oh, that's block. No, that's a bucket. No, that's a bucket with six ten and six guys die. So the way he gets to the basket and get that little shot off is, is impressive.